What is up everybody, it is Sainsfin, and today I have a quick little video for you guys, and the reason it, this is sort of a, a quick video is because I'm still moving some stuff from my, my old laptop to my PC, I'm still, you know, downloading all the programs, and I'm still getting set with that, so most probably, you know, I'll be ready for TU12, but this, this week, uh, you know, especially at the beginning, you know, today, tomorrow, Wednesday maybe, I'm still setting everything up, getting everything straight, so I hope you guys understand that, but don't worry, when TU12 drops, I'll be having videos like crazy and I'll be going through all the stuff that everybody needs to know regarding you know whatever you know the cat that you know ocelots cats lamps I don't even know whatever is into you so but anyway getting into the topic of this video this actually you know I when I was reading through the change log the other day I actually noticed this and I was just I was curious and I, I didn't really think too much of it it just you know hit my brain I was like all right maybe whatever but then I, I seen some other people and I started talking with, you know, some other, you know, people that I know, some friends of mine. And we saw that it says, as you see on the screen by this, the part of the change log, it says this is the creative mode only part where, you know, there's chiseled stone brick and then there's mob heads and it says creative mode only next to it. Well, now in TU11, the only way you can get spawn eggs is in, t is in creative mode. But look above where it says all that stuff. It says ocelot spawn eggs. And there's no creative mode only, uh, you know, thing next to it. So that leads me to believe that we might actually get spawn eggs in, in survival mode. I no, I don't know if they're gonna be, you know, in dungeons or in, in uh, I don't know, chests somewhere, villages maybe. I don't know. Or possibly they they made a way so we can craft them. Now I don't really know how they'd make a way you can craft. Maybe it's like like a chicken egg or something, and like. I don't know, some some more to, I don't know, item, whatever they think of, but that'd be pretty neat if they made it craftable, that means we could actually, uh, you know, it, it would help out a lot, at least for getting some um, certain mobs and stuff like that, but let me know in the comments your thoughts, uh, do you think we're actually going to be getting craftable spawn eggs, or, or, or spawn eggs in survival at all, or did they just possibly mess up and not put creative mode like, because I think that's pretty cool, because I don't even think on PC that they actually have spawn eggs in survival mode, without, you know, mods and stuff. So that'd be pretty neat, but uh, like I said, it's a really short video. I need to get back to you know moving all my stuff, getting everything set up. You know I gotta move a ton of stuff. For, you know I got a crazy amount of videos on my old laptop, so that's why you know I didn't put out too many videos this weekend. Even though I do have my computer and everything set, I gotta download all the live streaming stuff. I gotta figure out live streaming, and, and it, it's crazy. So. Hope you guys understand, like I said, leave this video a thumbs up if you do like it and, uh, you know, ready for TU12, because I think we all are at this point, you know, we're just waiting and, uh, you know, hopefully it comes out soon. Actually, when they do release a, a you know, when they do say that there's going to be a release date, I'll make sure to do a video right away on that, so subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, it's your boy Saints Phantom out. Peace!